Hello friends, today's video is about custom list autofill feature in Excel. You might already know that you can write a list of month names by just writing a name of one month and then dragging it down to get the list of all the months. But what if I want to write a list of, let's say, some fruits or some countries in the same fashion? For example, if I want to write list of names of South Asian countries, I can do that. By the end of this video, you will learn how to use this option in Excel to create a list of your choice for autofill. If you have some experience with Microsoft Excel, you may already know that you can write, you can write a list of month names in the following way. You can write Jan, and then you can select the cell and drag it down, and it will give you the names of all the 12 months. This feature is called autofill and this does not just only apply to the names of months. It can apply to list of any names. It can be list of fruits, list of countries. It can be list of any product categories and you can create any custom list that you want to. Now, before I show you how a custom list is created, you might be asking that why do we need this feature anyway? Well, imagine a scenario where you're working for a company which operates in 25 different countries. In this situation, you might often find yourself writing the names of those 25 countries manually, or maybe you might go to an old file, you'll copy the names of the countries from there and paste it into a new one. This of course is not an efficient approach and it might even lead to inconsistencies in your data. In such a situation, a custom list autofill will help you save a lot of time. Now let's see how we can build our custom lists. Let's just assume that I'm working for a company that operates in the following South Asian countries. I want to create a list that uh, can autofill the name of these countries once I write the name of any one countries out of it. So for now, my Excel is not configured to do that. If, for example, I write the name of the first country and then I try to drag the cell down, it will just copy the name of that country in all the cells. This is not what I want. I want it to populate all the cells in the same sequence as this one. In order to do that, I will first go to my file, then I'll go to options, then I will go to advanced, I'll scroll all the way down, where I will see an option for edit custom list. Over here, I have the option to add a new custom list. I will click on the cell and give a range which defines the list that I'm interested in. I'll enter it there and then I'll click the import button. So our custom list is now set up. I'll click on OK and then OK again. Now let's just see, I'll go to a fresh sheet or maybe a fresh sheet over here. And let's just say I'm building a report where I want to show, let's say, sales by country. I will write the name of the first country and then if I drag it down, it will give me the list of all the countries. Not only this feature works when I drag the name down, I can drag the name upwards as well. So for example, if I write India over here, and if I drag it down, it will work. And if I drag it upwards, it will work as well. Another cool option in this feature is that this custom list does not only apply to the current workbook, it will apply to all the workbooks. Let me show you by an example. I'll close off this workbook. Then I'll open my Excel again. And if I write the name here, it will still work. I hope you enjoyed this video and I look forward to see you in the next one.